everybody, my name is Jade and I'm from the YouTube channel Jade Billington and today I'm going to be talking you through six things you can get for free at Discovery Cove. So first things first, if you've never been to Discovery Cove before and you're kind of deciding whether or not you should book it as a part of your trip, you definitely should. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. When you walk in, it's like you're walking into like a private island. It's absolutely beautiful. There are palm trees everywhere. There are like tropical flowers. There are sandy beaches and oasis pools and dolphins. I've been lucky enough to go twice and it's just the best place on earth. It's definitely a place to go if you want to relax and also if you love animals. There are so many different animal encounters that you can do. There are otters, there's a big tropical reef where you can go snorkeling with all the fishes, there are marmosets, there's a huge aviary that you can go into where all the birds like sit on you and you can feed them. And if you're a thrill seeker, there is also an opportunity to swim next to sharks, which, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so cool. There are so many beautiful things that you can do there. It's like the perfect fun family day out. And obviously like one of the key attractions there is to swim with a dolphin, which is such a beautiful experience. I've been lucky enough to do it twice. They just make you feel so comfortable and it's just honestly the most beautiful experience ever. There are also other fun things that you can do there. They do like this really super cool under the sea walk. I've never had the chance of doing it myself. I would love to do it, but it looks super, super cool. You put like this helmet on and you literally like walk under the seabed and you get to like hold a starfish. <laughs> it just looks incredible. There are so many things that you can do. There's definitely something for everybody and if you just want to go and have a chill out because if you've been to Florida before and you've been to all the different theme parks then you will know it is a hectic, busy, busy holiday. It is not relaxing whatsoever. So if you want to schedule in a nice peaceful, relaxing day. Discovery Cove is definitely, definitely for you. Another thing I will say is the staff there make the experience so perfect. They have so much time for you and I think the reason that is is because the admission is actually limited there. They only let in a maximum of 1,300 guests a day. So when you're in the park, it doesn't feel crazy busy. Like you feel like you've got room to breathe but there's still like a really lovely atmosphere. It's just perfect. The only thing I will say is it's super important to book in advance because of that limited admission you really do need to get your tickets in early so in terms of booking your tickets obviously I would 100% recommend attraction tickets direct if you check the description box of this video there is a direct link where you can get your ticket so definitely check out that link below because you do not want to miss out whenever I go to Florida and I take a trip to Discovery Cove it is always always the highlight of my trip so, at the beginning of this video I promised you I was going to talk you through my six free things that you can get at at Discovery Cove, so here we go. <laughs> As I said at the beginning, Discovery Cove is an all-inclusive day out. So pretty much you can kind of just turn up with your bathing suit and you're good to go. With Discovery Cove, you kind of want to get there super early. And the first thing in the morning, or at least it for me, is breakfast. <laughs> you get breakfast included as well as your lunch. And also all of your snacks are included. And you can go up as many times as you like. And believe you me, I did. <laughs> the food is so tasty. They have something there for everybody. If you've got a fussy eater in your party, then trust me, they will definitely find something that they like to eat. Also get all of your drinks included, and if you are over the age of 21, then you do get free alcohol as well included in your ticket. So basically all of your food and drink for the whole day, you do not need to worry. It is available everywhere, literally everywhere you turn, there's like a kiosk and they're giving away like warm chocolate cookies, honestly. If you go, please get one of those. They are so yummy. I must have eaten about 12 of them the last time that I went because they're just so tasty. Obviously being out in Florida in the hot sun, you obviously need to protect your skin. But because the park, obviously you're interacting with animals, you need to make sure that the sun cream that you're wearing is animal friendly. And Discovery Cove actually have these big like sun cream dispensers dotted all around the parks for you to use. And that is completely free and included in your ticket. So it's great. It means you don't have to worry about packing sun cream. You can keep your skin nice and protected and you're also not harming the animals. So. It's a win-win. <laughs> is wetsuits and snorkels. Like once again, you'll probably be doing some kind of animal encounter, whether you book a dolphin swim or you want to do the under the sea walk or you go snorkeling around the tropical reef, 
whatever it is that you're doing, you will definitely need some kind of wetsuit or a snorkel. Obviously, renting a wetsuit is super expensive, so when you're at Discovery Cove, you get them included in your ticket. So when you turn up, the staff member gives you a wetsuit. They make sure that it's obviously the correct size and it fits your body correctly so that you can move easily in the water. And you also get a free snorkel, which you can actually take home with you. <laughs> Another thing that you get completely for free is towels. I always feel like when you go to different resorts and stuff, they make you rent the towels, but that is not the case at Discovery Cove, which I think is so lovely. Before you break for lunch, if you wanna go in the shower area, you can take a shower. Another thing you get completely for free is shampoo and conditioner and body wash. They have, once again, these big pump dispensers in the shower room. And I will say the shower rooms are so lovely. They feel super luxurious and you can take a nice shower, use one of their towels, dry off, and then head to go and get some lunch. And that is all included. <laughs> So the next thing that you can get for free, which I honestly feel like is just crazy and it is one of like the biggest things to be able to get for free, is you get free admission to SeaWorld and Aquatica, which is just crazy. You're getting a free ticket into two other theme parks. So if you'd like more information on SeaWorld and Aquatica, you can search them on the Attraction Tickets Direct website, which once again will be in the description box. <laughs> final free thing you can get is when you've finished for your day and you're leaving the park and going to collect your car there is no parking to pay <laughs> which I feel like is such a huge thing because most of the other theme parks they charge you for parking and that can get super expensive throughout your trip if you're parking every single day at the parks and it is completely free at Discovery Cove and the parking is super easy it's not a crazy like chaotic like parking lot or anything like that it's very easy to navigate and remember where your car is. <laughs> so that wraps up the free things that you can get at Discovery Cove. So in a nutshell, if you're thinking about booking a Discovery Cove holiday, I would 100% recommend it. I recommend it to all of my friends and family who have never been before if they're going to take a trip to Florida because it's honestly such a special day out and it's memories that you will just remember forever. So if you're thinking about booking it in, <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you guys have found it helpful. If you have any questions, then don't forget to leave them down in the comment section. And if you've been to Discovery Cove before, then let us know because we would love to hear about it. Anyways, I'm going to go and I'll see you later.